There are some new details tonight following the arrest of a 15 year old in a drive by shooting Sunday night that left a 16 year old boy dead. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Southwest Miami Dade at a makeshift memorial for Rakeem Brown, where a vigil will be held tonight. And Peter, you spoke with the mother and sister of the victim. Well, only if they're grateful that the accused shooter has been arrested, but they'd like to see his accomplices identified and charged as well. They believe there were at least three other people in the car with a gunman who police said was only 15 years old. Look closely as a black Ford or Kia drives by. Three youngsters run for cover. Bullets are being fired. While Tyvante Robinson is wounded, 16 year old Rakeem Brown is shot and killed. He was my world. He wasn't just my son. All five of my kids mean the world to me. Not just to us. He touched more people, people than he, people will Ooh. ever, ever know. Now 15-year-old Dennis Shelby Jr. is charged with first-degree murder after the shooting captured by a neighbor's surveillance camera. But the devil is busy, and he's jumping in our kids because our kids don't know God. My brother, he was a good boy. We happy they did find somebody, but we still want the other three boys that was there. We want everybody that was in the car. My brother got killed. Dennis Shelby's appearance was waived for a detention hearing. As his mother listened, a judge said he would be held in secure detention until another hearing February 6. We tried to speak with his mother, but she ran to a waiting car. You know, it is the worst type of insult that any community um, should feel. Uh, the fact that there's this level of disrespect for the sanctity of life. After the fatal shootings of Brown and 17-year-old South Dade High School senior Norizia Talibert this weekend, school superintendent Alberto Carvalho has a plan. We're going to be reaching out uh, to municipal leaders, to chiefs of police, to have again a roundtable discussion about community, community uh, initiatives and proactive uh, steps that we can take to minimize what's happening. They just killing, they just killing. And it has to stop. The killing must stop. We're going to lose all our kids if it don't stop. While Miami-Dade police are looking into whether Rocky and Brown's shooting was retaliation for what happened to Norizia Talibert, Brown's sister told me she's convinced it was not. There will be another vigil here just an hour at 7 tonight. If you can help Miami-Dade police with these cases, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. There's a reward of up to $3,000 in both cases. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Peter Nench, CBS 4 News. Elliot. Peter, thank you. Now